right ladies I'm working on this design here so I'm gonna do my thumb for you guys I've already filed it down and now I'm gonna apply the the um, nail form so let me slide this up under my nail Oops. hold on I guess it ain't gonna work if I sit in front of the camera like that all right So I'm just attaching the nail form and um, what I've used uh, for my, for three of my fingers is the, from the Sundance Collection, Sam Check and Cut. Tunic. I got this idea from uh, one of the organic nails um, tutorials, it's called Milkshake, but I'm not doing the, um, the ice cream cone, whatever they put on it. So, anyways, here we go. I know this isn't quite right. I don't know what what I'm. Let me loosen it. All right. So, here we go. And I'm just gonna stick this in and push out this side over here. And I'm gonna adjust it a little bit. And here goes the front of it. I'm going to pinch that too a little bit. Pinch and squeeze. Okay. And for the, for the nail bed area, I'll be using the organic nails uh, from the Bride Collection Rose. And the difference, if anybody was wondering really what the difference is between Rose and Petal... Rose has the little yeah. glitter in it and petal right. doesn't. So I'm going to add my protein okay. bond. Thanks. I got the kids in here with me. They're still up. So I'm going to add two coats of that. Okay. This one coat. And then the second coat. With with my my middle finger and my thumb, I'm using can and box from the Sundance collection. Alright, so let's begin. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try to hold it out here so you guys can see. I'm going to pick up a, a bead of um, yeah. the rose nail bed. Okay, and I'm going to stick this right here to the front. Okay. And then I'm going to fan it out a little bit. And pull up just a little bit. Okay. Making sure that I make this into a V. Okay. is that flying? Okay. Ugh. Alright. So then I'm going to add my last pearl down here and I'm going to spread it side to side. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, they're making a lot of noise tonight. Yeah. Okay. They're trying to kill bugs and everything else. Alright. So... Hold on. Croy, get her. She okay. is. Okay. Bye bye. 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 Bye Yes, Sorry about that, you guys. I thought they would be asleep by the time I got to my thumb, but apparently I was ever so wrong. Alright. So I'm just, like, shaping my, my nail bed the way I like it.
That's how we're doing. Ma. Okay, so that's that. And then I am going to use the can, can color, which is the neon yellow. Let me close this up. Okay, I'm going to use the neon neon yellow. Here we go. For a uh, round. I'm really not trying to do my tension. Oh, gosh, hold on. That ain't going to work. Huh. It was a... It was a bug in there. Sorry. All right. Let me try that again. All right. I'm going to pick up a bead of this. Nothing really specific. I'm going to take out this peace sign because it isn't entirely too big for this design. So I'm going to take that out. And I'm just trying to move this where I need it to be. Okay. And then I'm going to pick up some more and work work my way over to the next side. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's so, so chunky that you really got to pick out what you're not going to need, which I'm not going to need this. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to try to keep pushing it up at the same time and get out this stuff that I really am not going to use with this design. Okay. okay. And I'm just going to make a couple of adjustments. Every time I dig in this, I pull out like a million <laughs> I mean, it's good, but I really don't want all these little chunks this time. Okay, let me pull that one out and this one. Okay. Okay, now what I'm going to do is start mixing the colors, which would be the box and the, um, can and I'm going to pick up a bead of this and I'm going to throw it here in the middle and what you know I picked up about a hundred more okay and then I'm going to pick up some more of the yellow throw it here okay here we go now you're not doing it in I mean you're just putting it on here so here we go and it's not going to look pretty at first. It, it you know, you've got to work it into shape. So what I do is I pull this backwards a little bit. You see how I just did that? Making sure to try to keep my brush kind of wet. Okay, patting it down at the same time because we don't need it so thick. Okay. Here we go with that. And then I see a place that needs something, so I'm going to grab some more. Oh, I am so not feeling all these chunks right now. But here we go. If you notice that yours has done this to just try to fill in where you can, that's fine. Okay. Alright, and that's that. I'm just going to look over it and make sure I don't need any purple. And I am going to put some purple in an, another place. So, I'm going to put some over here. Right about here. Okay. I'm going to pat this down into it. Okay. 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 I'm just going to push this down. Around the sides. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. And that's what that one looks like. No, no. Then I'll encapsulate it and put it under the dryer. But you guys know I'm really sorry, but I don't have a pause button on my phone or anything. I'm really working on getting another phone, so I won't have these issues. So anyways, here's this. Mm. Maybe just a little bit of yellow at the tip, just a little. Yeah, just a little right about here. I know this is going to be long, but I'm trying to get used to using nail forms. I really would rather use nail forms than nail tips anyways. So I like really been practicing a lot on my using using my right hand. Yeah. Okay. That's that and I'm going to let that dry. No, no, I'm going to encapsulate it. I'm sorry. Let it dry. It is late, late, and I was really expecting the kids to be asleep by now, but I guess not. So I'm going to encapsulate this using my number 12 acrylic brush. So, here we go. Mom, you shut up. Now, Mom, Okay, I'm going to put it right here. And I really need another phone or a way to record because this here is just uh -uh. crazy how I'm having to do this. Okay. <laughs> Maybe if I back up, it'll work a little bit better. So, and I move it side to side and pull it down. Hi, bye. I'm going to bring this one up a little bit. Okay. Mommy. Here we go. I'm going to set this at the tip. Go side to side. And pull it down. And pull it down. And I'm just going to check the sides to make sure that it's all covered. I'm going to get a little bit and take it down towards the nail bed area. Just a little bit. See? I'm going to put it here. <laughs> oh, lordy. Yeah. So then we have that. And it's encapsulated. I'm just checking to make sure that there are no pumps or whatnot. Oh, I know this video. Take her on the porch. Take her out on the porch. Come on. I know this video is going to be really annoying, you guys. I am so, so sorry. Because it is really annoying me right about now. Okay. Alright. I think I see a space that needs to be filled. Okay. And it will be right here. There we go. I think I got it off. I hope so anyway. So that's that. And I guess I'll show you guys what I was trying to do with my other hand. Excuse all the acrylic. Okay, I was trying to do the... The glass nails with tips. I got paint and everything on my hair. Okay. And then I just did some, I mixed some silver rhombus with some smoky gray rhombus. But the problem is, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but the acrylic is yellowing. And this was, I used Diva DC clear acrylic. And you can tell that it it is yellowing whenever I when I did the clear nails. Can you see that? See, it's yellowing. 
and I've had these on for a couple of days. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I don't know why, because it's supposed to be non-yellowing, but apparently it isn't. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this one so you guys can see how it's going to turn out. What I did was I used some white acrylic paint that I got from Michaels. I think I paid like 80 cents for this. I'm not really sure. And I used my dotting tool, which I used the small end, this end down here. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to apply my clear coat and my diamonds coming on the top of these. Okay, let me see. Look. They are so bad. <laughs> say hi, Mimi. You want to say hi? Say hi. She doesn't want to, but she wants to be really loud. All right. So that's what I'm going to do and whenever, before I put my clo clear coat on, I use the protein bond like they do on the, the organic nail videos and um, get her. You're going to fall. <laughs> she says stop ugly. Alright. So, okay, what I do is, hush, 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 I'm almost done. Okay, what I'm going to do is, I am not trying to flip y'all off, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this around, trying to avoid, okay. can you be still, girl? She is so on my back. All right. Um, stop. Stop. Uh, okay. And then I'm going to use mm -hmm. my finished gel by Organic mm -hmm. Nails. This hair is like really, really expensive. <laughs> See, that's why I told you. Ugh. Dang it. No. No. Go out there with Cora. Come on. Or sit down. Sit down. Sit, sit. Sit down. Sit. Alright. Oh my god, I'm really, really sorry, you guys. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my finished gel and put my diamonds on. And that's going to be it. So... It does look a lot different with the clear coat on the top of it after being fouled and buffed and everything else. So, let me try this. Cora, try to get her. And then, um, I put it right here. And I don't know if I'm doing this right with these, um, nail forms, but you can look down the barrel of the nail. Uh -huh. It kind of looks weird. Looks a lot weirder than with uh, nail tips. I don't know. Maybe I'm not doing it right. I don't know. Hi. For sure. But this is the design I worked on tonight. And I hope you guys liked it. Sorry about the the kids tonight. But I just couldn't get them to go to sleep. And I was almost finished. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.